A quick simple way to make your guitar playing more interesting is to add embellishments to the chords that we use all the time. Take a look at the chords we're using today. B minor, barring in the seventh fret here, B minor, A major, barring in the fifth fret, G major, barring in the third fret, F sharp seven. Barring in the second fret. So we can add a simple little melody to each chord as we strum those. Before we go to the next chord. So the groove I have in my head is, is like a three, four time, like a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And a great way to, to feel that is to hit the root note and then hit the chord. So on the low E string would be the root note of each one of these chords. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just a great feel. There's backing tracks that have that same feel. So the, uh, the key is trying to hold the chord and use your little pinky fourth finger here for the embellishments. So strum the chord. And we're going to do a double stop while trying to hold the chord. You just pull your pinky off of here. And on the G and B strings, you would hit in the 7th fret. And then hammer on the G string only on the ninth fret. And hit the double stop again. Back to the root note on the D string of the ninth fret. So hammer on. options here to when you hammer on like that. You can also do it pulling off of the chord. It's just re a really nice feel if you can hold the chord and do this. You might take some practice. And on the A a similar mood. You strum the chord. And on the G and B strings again you just hold the chord but pull your pinky off and hammer on and back off. Back to the root note. It's the same move but just the chord's different. So hitting the G and B strings with your pinky off, hammering on to the seventh fret. So you're actually just hitting six and five here but you, you still have that chord in, in, in your hand here. Hitting the root note. Great practice, great way to liven up the chords that you play. Again, exactly the same movement here on the G major. Just hammering on. You're leaving the taking your pinky off, hammering on, in this case to the fifth fret. Back to the root note. A 
then on the F sharp seven chord, I just I just didn't do an embellishment there because just the way the chord shaped it just sounded better to to pick those notes from the G string, G, D, and A string just th a couple times. So let me show you a few triad shapes to liven this thing up. So the B minor. There's a great triad shape right here. And in the demo, I just hit the chord, went down a half step and slid back up. For me, it's better for my thumb to be in the, the middle of the neck to do this, but it's what's, what's ever comfortable. Gotta strike it kind of aggressively and then go back down and back up. Now for the A chord, check out these triads. triads actually here six five five and nine ten nine but using just the outside two notes two notes there so six five and then nine and nine on the E string and sliding up to him sounds really good exact same shape going down to G so the triads same way but you're just picking these two notes and these two notes so Four, three, and seven, seven. And then we're going down to the F sharp seven chord. Now here's a real bluesy one. So you're still looking at this triad. but doing a bluesy little half step slide from two to three on the G string, hitting two on the E string, back to three, and then hitting this in the fifth fret of the, of the B string. Really fits that chord because you're playing the notes in the chord. And then it's going back to B minor. I'd like to walk down the pentatonic scale and get back to the groove. I hope you got something out of this quick tip lesson. Catch you on the next one.